here on EA Sports. Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski. What a playoff series this has been so far. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. Every game critical in the postseason. This one, no different, and we are underway. Puck sent down the ice. We'll get an icing. Yaroslavl's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. With the one-timer! Oh, what a save! Great save by the Tendi on the wraparound! Well, you got to have a strong push if you want to be able to go post to both kids, and that's exactly what he does to make the save. Moscow's got the puck along the wall. Pass to a breakout. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. The reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. The lost connection have put themselves down a man, tripping the call. Moscow's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something to do, your repetitions. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. And that goes off course off a of body. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Takes a knock, but he's still got the puck. Nesterov's been tripped up and we got a penalty coming up here. Moscow's got the puck against the boards. The trickers fire blanks on the power play. We're back to even strength here. The lost connection have been called for tripping on the play. Another power play opportunity coming up here. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Pushes it across to Gurnett. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Takes the pass. Fantastic save! That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but this team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. The checkers played along the boards. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Moves it to the net. He scores! What a goal! The pass reception is also about the pass itself here, James. And when you have a great pass, you're able to handle it. You can get it off quickly. Moscow's taking the 1-0 lead here late in this first period. Well, anytime a goal is scored, James, it's a momentum builder for their team. And, and you know what? At the end of a period, it creates even more energy. You got the body language, you got the energy hitting the dressing room, and you get set to start the second. Now you got all that positive pent-up energy, and you look to start the second the same way you ended the first. The setters will glide into the dot. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. There's the buzzer. 20 minutes in the books. Second period just around the corner.
We got a penalty coming up here. Gillison's got the puck in his own zone. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Well, with a one goal lead, there's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're shorthanded, and they've got to find a way to kill it off. takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. Musa quickly over to Gurnat. Gaining momentum along the wing. Shot! Scores! They've tied it up! Opportunity knocking, and they take advantage on the power play. Well, you spend so much time in practice working on it because you want to have different layers to throw off the PK units, and I thought they did a real effective job of reading what they were giving, and then they were able to bury it. Oh, James, let's have a look at this goal again. I mean, it's just a desperation play as he's stumbling and just stays on his feet long enough to be able to get his stick on that puck and make a glorious pass to a player who's able to finish it. Listen, you got to out-battle, you got to out-will, and that's just pure strength to be able to stay on your feet. yaroslavl has been right there with them all night long, and look at this, we've got the equalizing goal. Yeah, that counter punch was something, James, to be able to get the equalizer. You can see the excitement on the bench. That's going to provide a lot of energy in the second period. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Sends the pass over. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Grabs possession of the puck. Denies him on the one-timer. Made the stop on that play. Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Puts it on net, and that's blocked in traffic. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Great forecheck by Polino. Cutting to the slot. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Running interference is part of the game, but guess what? You've got to be smart about it. You have to allow your opponent to move freely to find that puck. You get in the way a little bit, but too much, you're going to get the interference call. Well, listen, a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot. And that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 where they were able to capitalize. It's about opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around, and then firing and executing when you have it. Picks up the puck. Drives to the sweet spot. Big stop right there. Can't get a hold of that pass. Takes the feed. Here they come up along the wing. You can see the Selly. The energy is certainly there, and now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. That's a tough one to take, James. I mean, you're in a power play. It's a tie game. You have to manage the puck, and you have to create scoring chances, not give them up. Yaroslavl's finally broken through and has the lead now late in period number two. Well, it's been a hard-fought battle, and they put themselves in a great position here at the end of the second. Now, if they can just ride it out, get to the intermission, and start the third with a bang. The big question here, James, is what are you going to do next? You gave up a shorter. you got to find a way to get back in the game. What I mean by that is you have to reset, not just physically, but emotionally and mentally, and get back on track. Well, there you go, 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up, because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. Hope you're having a great night. Two periods down, one more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. Well, the moment of truth for both teams here as we are underway in the third. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Moscow's had a strong 40 minutes of play, and they've dominated possession time, James, but they have to find a way to get up on the board and get the equalizer here. I expect them to have some urgency to activate their D and try and really look to attack off the rush. 
There's the whistle. That pane of glass was busted after that heavy shot and probably terrified those fans right behind it. Yeah, everyone was flinching, just thinking that puck was going to go straight through, but a testament to how strong the glass is nowadays. It doesn't shatter, it just simply spiders. Nonetheless, it has to be replaced. Stars! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. Now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. This is a primetime example of why you work on face-offs so often in practice because when you start with possession, you get scoring chances. And when you get scoring chances, this is exactly what happens. You put it in. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We've got a tie game. Moscow's won the draw in the neutral zone. Perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Here's a shot. Nice save from point blank range. Takes it into the slot. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Now a quick pass to Yellison. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Well, this is what happens when you start to chase the game and find yourself looking to get better to position, and it's the slashing call. They're cracking down on it. Two-minute minor. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Power play scored earlier tonight, and that gives you so much confidence heading into this one. You know how you executed the first time. They'll look, be looking for those same openings. Gets it out of his own end. Still a tight one here as we approach the final minute of the third. Sends the puck across. Oh, hook save. Take it along the wall by Chekovic. Yaroslavl's power play comes up empty-handed. We're back to even strength on the ice. Timing is so important in embracing the pressure of that particular moment, James. And this power play went out there. Looks like their sticks were held tight, and they couldn't find a way to execute. That's a tough one. Along the half wall with the puck. And he says no! Takes that pass back at the point. Misses over the net. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. The toughest part is an athlete. You can't worry about the call. You just gotta worry about the job that you gotta do. And the PKers, they're the most critical piece to this puzzle right now. The Checkers with another big opportunity on the power play. Won the face off here in the offensive zone. Oh, they do it again! Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. There's the horn, meaning one thing. We've got overtime, and it's coming up in just a sec. Will someone get a chance to put the game on their stick? Overtime looms. Moscow's power play gets back to work here as we are underway in the period. They win the draw. The Trickers have the puck in the corner. Tees him up. Oh, how are they stuck? That with the one-timer. Looking to get it out. The checkers gain possession. Still keeps a hold of it. Oh, top break for the shooter as it goes off the crossbar and off the post. I really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level. When you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game, you know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual. And this is what winners are made of. And they get the puck out. That's exactly what they needed. Yeah, late in the game, you want to find a way to just get the puck out. You want to make sure you protect the middle of the ice. And listen, if your opponent doesn't have the puck in their offensive zone, guess what? You're in a good position. But unfortunately, the goaltender reads him and makes the save. Strong defensive effort. A chance to win it. And he denies him with a monstrous save here. Time 
time is certainly up. They needed this rest. This was a great play by the tender. Moscow's through center right now in the offensive end. in big moments and you've fallen in big moments. What does a moment like this mean here? Well, I mean, your opponent has given you everything they had, so it's showing respect for your opponent in that handshake line. Sometimes it's just a look in the eye, sometimes it's a pat on the shoulder, and sometimes it's nothing. But you got to do it. It's part of the game. They're giving us the go-home cue, so we're going to get out of here. Thanks so much for joining, and we'll see you next time here on EA Sports.